Have you ever wished you can have an autopilot function for mixing? To take your mixes from this. To this. Let's take a look at how you can make use of autopilot mixing. Duplicate MIDI from GGD library onto instrument track. Load a sample library, you will need one shot samples. One for the kick and one for the snare. Make sure you have the key spike volume to negative infinity. You don't want this to be audible. Make sure these samples are assigned to whatever note value your kick and snare are. Trim these samples so only a click is audible. Create a track named Drum Punch, all your audio except your drums will be rooted through this track. Insert track spacer onto this track. Sidechain track spacer with your key spikes track. Make sure that this happens prefader. Make sure attack and release are on quickest settings. Low cut around 80Hz and high cut around 10kHz. Track spacer is very powerful and should be used sparingly. It ducks out the kick and snare frequencies out of all the audio passing through it. Thus making your drums extra punchy. You can hear its effect when I over exaggerate it. I am sure you have heard of top-down mixing. This is exactly it. Some EQ to boost lows and highs. Some autopilot with neutron for overall control and sculpting. And lastly compression to clamp down on those snare hits. About 3 dB of reduction is what you want to aim for. On the master you want some more autopilot mixing to glue it all together. SSL compressor here with 2 dB of reduction for glue. Max bass to emphasize bass on smaller speakers. Linear phase multiband to control any frequencies trying to jump out at you. An ozone to keep low end mono, add a bit of tape warmth and overall limiting of your track. that these plugins would behave in a certain manner to control the audio and glue your mix together without you having to write a lot of automation or go crazy with a lot of plugins.
like this video please consider subscribing, cheers.